In this episode, I transform the van and you, ready for full-time traveling. We escape the heat with plenty of water activities. Camp in cyclonic conditions during some of the state's worst flooding and do a rewarding detour to escape the deluge. Hi, I'm Jess. And I'm Sean. After meeting through our mutual love of travel, we've committed ourselves to designing a life where we can pursue our careers, yet satisfy our cravings for adventures. In season two, we have set those foundations and we're northbound for Queensland. Follow us on our journey as we live full time in our off-grid caravan. And explore all the gems Australia has to offer. But it's 100 day. Yeah! Nice chilled one. So WAP is gonna be number one? No chance. Absolutely no chance. It's just one of those hype songs that everyone thinks is going to be number one. No. Add a tea. Brew for when you want to kick down a gear and enjoy life. What are you going to catch? Flatty. You're going to catch a flatty for us. Good having someone else pump up the kayak for once. <laughs> Ready to swim, Diane? Good time to jump in. Probably where they took the hamstring graft. I don't know what's happening here. So it's day seven for Sean post surgery. <laughs> Feels like someone's inflated my leg to like 40 psi. <laughs> it's so sore. The Achilles heel of these Wakers are these hinges plastic cheap hinges. I think it was like day three of our trip. The hinge snapped. And I tried to epoxy it back together, but it's the wrong type of epoxy. And that should keep it the lid down a bit tighter, which will use less power to keep our food colder. And Jess just got back with some monstrous eyebrows. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> so when we went away camping for New Year's, there was a bit of a, a dilemma. These stay cables, that when the sink, the kitchen folds down, the connection sheared off, they held onto the bolt, and the whole sink just collapsed to the ground. Um, it was horizontal, but it continued to the ground. The cooker, everything in our kitchen fell off. This is the extension I made for the cooker. It's another hinge section that hinges off here. It hinges up. Uh, that snapped off. Today I'm going to fix it. I have these stainless steel carabiners. So I just have to grind this off. It goes onto this eye bolt here and onto one of these settings. Just 
I'll show you how it works. So this is my design. It's as simple as just undoing the side gate. When I built it, I made it really tight underneath this awning, which keeps it watertight, which is good. Rolls down, that's it. You have adjustments here for height, if, it, if the, the car is in level sideways. And then if you want to use the extension part for the cooking. And then doing up these. And that's supporting. And that can be adjusted within these. Decent size, buddy. You can't I'll, say that. I'll take that. <laughs> I reckon it's a little grim. Where are we? We're at Pearl Beach. Yes! It's such a beautiful spot. Mmm. <laughs> Today is an exciting day. Finally solving the issue of covering the back of the ute. Well, about a year ago, I made up this temporary solution, which is literally just a tarp, uh, bungee straps on, that was secured on the side here and the top with magnets. All the water would pull in the middle. I put a pool fence. Time to change this makeshift shelter into a real one. So I'm going around to my mate's workshop, the Savo. He uh, makes custom horse floats and stuff like that, custom trailers. And we're going to bend up a sheet of checkered plate aluminium to cover the top. Putting in the support bars so it doesn't sag in the middle. That's Ryan, aka Pig. One of the nicest folks you'll meet. Yeah. He's a secret romantic too, apparently. Ha <laughs> ha. Second sheet on. God, it's Welcome shiny. Charge controllers. A brand new quality lithium battery, which I'm gonna put in here. Here's my wiring diagram. So you just came in with some news. We were just talking about the future. Um, well, recently I started my own tutoring business and um, I've had lots of tutoring clients ask me for OT consults because they know I'm an OT and it's just kind of exploded and um, I decided to resign from my job. Um, I live today, so yeah. So you're going to be self-employed. Both of us are going to be self-employed. Yeah. And I'm really excited because I'm so passionate about the business and I love it and I love what this next year is going to be. It's so exciting. Super exciting. Okay, bye. <laughs> Washed and brushed. I've never seen it like this in my life. Look. So finally having a trim. I remember the last time I got a haircut it was September 2014. What year is it now? 2021. <laughs> it was just before I went over to South America. Oh, before I met you. Yep. Oh! This is satisfying, cutting hair. I'm going to do the face as well. I'm going to see my first OT client of my own business. My first Thrive Learning and Therapy OT student. Ready? 
We've just left. On the road again. After three months of having the van in the backyard, we're going on a little tester holiday to make sure everything still works and we like traveling. And we're going away for a week to Samba. Lots of look at lashes. Well, we're here, we're set up, and it's had a wild storm. There's no internet connection, no power. Um, phone connections are gone. Even the radar for the local, for the area, to see what the, the weather's doing, that's, that's down. So, pretty wild storm. Starting to flood everywhere, but the water's getting away, thankfully. Oh, wow, rainbow. Double rainbow. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, the eagle is chasing the drone. Whoa, <laughs> that was so scary. Well, I guess we're not going in the ocean today. The old afternoon squall, hey? Live update, most extreme chess game in Australia. <laughs> I'm just playing. The table is saturated, we're persisting. The storm will not stop us. <laughs> we have to get beat, by the way. I'm about to take your horse. Oh! <laughs> Make your last feeble attempt at defence. Checkmate. <laughs> so, yeah, had a little bit of water. There's a dingo in the campground. Uh, I'd almost be better to pull. Sure. I love camping! <laughs> I actually like camping! <laughs> <laughs> is it getting worse or is it just me? <laughs> oh, so much fun! Thanks for coming, Alan. Sorry, guys. I didn't know where it was. Go home, Alan. <laughs> Everywhere. I was drunk. I seen an app before us. Shoulders. What are you doing? I'm making a bed for our friends because we had a cyclone that went through here earlier and flattened everyone's tents. So we're bunking up. In the caravan. Thanks for being our first <laughs> guests in the caravan. Yeah. We've <laughs> never had more than two I, people I, here. I feel so privileged. The pile of carnage from the storm. And that's just at this bin. So after returning home from Sandbar, 
where we had like a foot of rain in a few hours, hectic storm. Return home. Streets are flooding. Got the van in the driveway because the backyard looks like this. We are down the south coast in Truros Head and about to do some fishing. The rain fell out us here, didn't it? A little bit miserable. So what's the name of the fishing club? She doesn't like saying it. I'll let you read it. Prepping the food. Yeah, that is a slab, isn't it? It's a slab. Pretty serious process right here. Everyone's uh, doing their thing. <laughs> Just going out before you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's see, how's your prawning experience? Look how keen she is. I can't talk, I'm concentrating. Another one bites the dust. Lovely weather for a bit of an explore. Wow, and so green. So free camps are pretty limited in this area. And New South Wales is in a state of disaster because of flooding um, everywhere. The most serious flooding in some places in ever. So we're here in Burwa, where uh, a heap of uh, people from the fishing club live. Shane here is generous enough to show us around. Closer together, for sure to the micro. Well, there they are. <laughs> yeah, <gonna> go. <laughs> so they're only sort of 12 months, they've still got their milk teeth. Turn the compressor on, lift them up, and we cut their feet. Oh, right. Trim them up, trim their eyes so they can see. How much did it rise overnight? 6%, which is huge. For a lake this big. Oh, when it's full, this is all underwater. What a stunning morning. Finally have a sunny day after about two weeks. Don't miss our next episode where we make final preparations before our big departure. 
and the beginning of our big adventure.